what's happening guys so this is it this is it you see I know what it is so many people is like this today the grass is greener on the other side mentality it's not about teamwork what it should be it's about feelings and your convenience right now right now right now right now right now it's not about going against the grain. It's not about doing logically what's right no more in this fucked up world. It's just feelings. Huh? Stupid. People don't understand what they do to themselves. Like, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, I was a logical thinker my entire life, even as a kid. Even as a kid. It's like what I had going for myself with a specific person, I would not do anything to ruin that because I know I have something good. But other people, not, not most people today is not like that. They will do things to ruin things. Come back when it's convenient. They come and they go and they do as they please, but that's no way to live life. You're just nothing. You're just a nobody. You just, you don't belong to nobody. You belong from the streets. And it's just stupid. And as people continue to do stupid things and you continue to do what's right, It's only going to hurt them as time goes on more and more and more. It's only going to benefit you as time goes on more and more and more. The whole dynamic shifts. I'm telling you full of well, brother. They miss you more than you know. They are suffering without you. They pray to God every day. It's a bad dream. They pray to God every day that they can get you back. That they can have you again. Because they learned too late. They made terrible mistakes. And you know yourself they did. And you told them, you probably even told them yourself, you're going to regret this. You're going to regret this. Because we ain't messing around over here. I don't think some people realize that when they do certain things, we will never view them the same ever again. Like ever again, when it comes to women, when it even comes to friends in certain ways, like you do certain things, the loss of respect has taken place. Once the respect is gone, you can't really be friends with nobody no more. You can't really view that relationship partner the same again from the opposite gender you just cannot do it because the respect is gone it's been lost it's over and they are the ones that are going to be on the bad end of that stick they had no problem doing what they've done to you they had no problem doing it they had no problem selling you a dream hyping it up Making you believe everything they were saying was true. They're damn good at it, aren't they? They had no problem doing that. They had no problem leaving you for dead. You were on board with what was going on. And guess what? You had to deal with the misery that took place. The, the mind, the mind fuck that takes place because you believed what was going on. It sounded real, it felt, it even felt real, but it was not. That's when you pick yourself back up, you get back on the horse, you become better. 
they continue to do things to sabotage their own lives and existences and you just get better and better and better and one day which this day for myself has taken place such a long time ago they will miss you more than you know and you're just not looking at them the same again they want to come back they want to talk to you now can we talk can we talk Talk to these nuts. <laughs> you did it again. You did it again. Women. Are you happy with yourself, mate? Are you happy with yourself? Something different every year. It's something different. <laughs> and you know it's the truth. It is what it is. And it, it just so happens to be we just can't look at them the same. They don't even look as good, even if they were, even if they were better. They're just not in our eyes no more. The specialness has disappeared. It is gone, thrown out the window forever. You could be even better with a rounder ass, with, with, with even better makeup, better hair, whatever it might be. It just don't do it. It just don't do it. Because the specialness is gone. took off and we just can't view you the same same thing with friends that want to backstab us and be jealous and bitter and negative and envious of us because we choose to do good with our lives we choose to become super superheroes as men which is what's in a male's primal it's in our instincts brothers to become next to a damn superhero it's in us to do that. But no. People get jealous of us. People get better. They ruin their lives. We get better. They get better. We get better. They don't like it. And then they do certain things to ruin the friendship. You ruined everything. When trust is gone... When the respect is gone, it's a wrap. Like you're gonna have to really, really, really reinvent yourself completely and change yourself completely and entirely as a human being to get that back. It's gonna take a lot of work. You're not just gonna get it back. That's the thing. And you know what? When respect is lost with certain people, you might as well say goodbye because 90 some percent of people on earth are not even willing to change themselves or who they are to get better. If you think they're gonna change, you're out of your mind. They're not humble enough to change. They don't wanna do the work. They're gonna be the exact same, worst. They're gonna be even worse. Cause that's the telltale of these individuals' existences. They're only going to get worse. If you, if you have thoughts of getting your ex back, you gotta wake yourself the fuck up, brother. Or if she wants to come back and you take her back, bruh. Bruh. Do yourself a disservice. And put yourself through a little bit of something because it'll wake you up. Because you, my friend, are in La La Land if you think the result is gonna be different and they did not completely reinvent themselves, it's gonna be the exact same thing again. Again, and again, why? Because I lived it. I've seen it happen to some of my friends. I've seen it happen to so many people. I've even seen it happen to women. It's gonna be the exact same result. I had a past friend and he had a girl and she was pretty good looking. 
and he just wasn't ready for what she was ready for. Like she, like she was younger than him, and she was more grown up than this guy. He was like borderline an alcoholic, and we were like young at this age. And he just abused her all the time. He would kiss another girl at the party, and she'd be bawling her eyes out, and she was so loyal to this guy and all that other kind of stuff. And he just wasn't willing to grow up. But she loved him. I don't want to leave him. It was one of those toxic relationships. And karma is a real thing, folks. Guess what? She went on to leave this guy. And when she leaves and when this guy knows she's gone, that's when he tries so hard to get her back and all that stuff. And it's just more manipulation. She goes on to have a couple of kids with a past friend of his is not with that guy. And now she's with another guy and has like twins with this other guy that this guy had a fight with before. Karma is a real thing. Once the respect is gone, that's when people are done. And the, the people that disrespect us like that and we go on in life to do better things, that's when they want to come back so bad. Like these individuals, bro, they're going to miss you for the rest of their lives because you have made them feel certain things that they're not going to feel from anybody else. You have done things for them that nobody else is going to be willing to do for them. Not to the level. There's no way about it. Special things don't just come across every day. Everybody knows this. And that's why, like I said, near the start of this video, when you have something good, you should do zero things to F that up. If you're willing to do something to mess something up because you're in your ways, your feelings told you so, you deserve everything that's coming to you because you should do nothing to fuck that up. Guess what? In the past, when I was probably, I'd say 17 years old for sure at this time, 17, me and a group of friends, I think there was four or five of us and there was about four or five females. We all got this cottage. One of these girls, fathers, he was like rich and they had a bunch of cottages right on property and big backyard beach and we all rented a cottage. We didn't like pay for it, but we got it. Like we had the cottage because it was free, obviously. I had an option that night. There was a couple of girls that they gave me the choice. Which one do you want tonight? I literally got presented with that because that's what was going to happen. But I was with a girl at this time. She wasn't there. She was at home. I was texting her and I declined two blondes to keep my blonde that I had at the time. Anybody else, you have a few drinks in you, I would almost guarantee they would have took up on that opportunity. But not me. Because when you have something good, you should do nothing to that up. Who cares about your urges? Who cares about your feelings? Your mind has to be stronger than your feelings. It don't mean you feel nothing. It's just that your mind is stronger than an urge you might have. It's called strength. It's called logic for sakes. And not messing up things that are really good. Like a current relationship, like a friendship, like a business partnership, whatever it might be. You should do nothing to mess that up. If you take it for granted, guess what? Karma's gonna come back. It's gonna hit you in the face. I've seen it time and time again. They leave us astray in that exact moment, not making us feel too good, like useless. That's how they make us feel, even though we're very useful. They will do things, and they will do us dirty to make us feel useless. And that's when we deal with that moment, carry on, do better things, and then you can cry better later on. They miss you more than you know. Trust
the things you could have done for this person. And they took it for granted. They took it for granted. And this has happened to me many times with many different people. And like I said, you could not put a friendship in front of me. You could not put a, the perfect relationship partner in front of me it's for me to do anything to mess that up. It will not happen in a million years because I know how rare those things are. I know full well how rare those things are. They don't come across every day. In fact, hardly at all. So when you have something good, you should probably think twice before doing what you want, what, what you feel, could you feel. Do what's right. That's my advice to anybody. Do what is right. Would it have been right for me to take up on one of those two blondes that I had the opportunity to get with that night? No, because I didn't even like, like them like that. Like, yeah, great looking. Would it be some fun? Sure. Would it be a good night? 100%. You wake up the next day and you lose something good you, you have consistently. Is it worth it? No, <laughs> it is not. And that's what people don't think of, bro. Because most people today are fucking foolish. They do things all the time to ruin great things. And those are people I want nothing to do with. People that take things for granted like that, I want nothing to do with you. If a female, let's say I'm with a female, and she's willing to walk into my life when things are going so good. Because she has this built-in excuse. You think I'm going to take that back? You think I'm just going to be some, some option when you realize there was nothing else out there even remotely close to what I was to you. You think I'm going to take you back. Let me laugh in your face until you shed tears because you're hilarious. You're going to know exactly what it feels like. Happy Hanukkah. I only give people what they deserve, folks. That's all I can do. I can only ever give you what you deserve. I can't give you anything else. That's what I can do for you. And that's what I've been doing. And that's what I'm always going to do. Like I said, I am the wish master. So as you wish, you're going to get what you wish for. You better make sure it's something you're gonna like. You better make sure that what goes around comes right back around and you will be granted that wish. And guess what? They are going to miss you more than you know. And at first, maybe that's how you felt. You had something really good and, and it's gone. Uh, you start to miss it a little bit. You feel some type of way. But then over time, that fades. And then they suffer in the long run when they want you back and they can't get you back and they know it. It does something to them mentally. It puts them in a bad place. It puts them in a dark place. They cannot help it. But you got what you asked for. You don't leave good people behind. You don't try to ride off in the sunset when you had something so good. You should have rode off together, but no. You, you just, you dipped. Yeah, you dipped. And now look. Are you happy with yourself, mate? Look what you done. Are you happy with yourself? Something different every week. It's something different. But it's how she goes. 
So, the last thing I can say about that is, uh, <laughs> good riddance. I'm off to bigger and better things. I'm off to the lake. See you soon, boy. Actually, I'll see you never. Because I'm gone. You know where you're gone? Somewhere else. Away from me.